Hey everybody, uh, I'm here with uh, Casey and Christine from Thanks. Divine Thanks. Wine Bar in the village of Wappingers Falls. Full disclosure, I spent a lot of time there. Uh, <laughs> Alright, but I, you know, I'm a beer drinker and you guys have great craft beer there, which, mm -hmm. I, which I really enjoy. Uh, but the other night, uh, Steve at the bar uh, gave me this wine, which I was like, ooh, hold on a second. I might become a wine drinker. Mm -hmm. there's, some, there's some new stuff out here. So you guys are going to give us some samples. Yes. We'll talk a little bit about wine. All right, so what's our first thing? So we're going to start with uh, Prosecco. It's a nice Prosecco from Italy. Uh, you always want to start with your bubbles first. All right, so this is Prosecco. Now this is... Champagne that's not made in France, right? Basically, exactly, exactly, it's exactly. It's, wine. it's made in the same method that champagne is. It's just not called champagne because it's made in Italy in the Prosecco region, uh, using the Galera grape. Okay, is, right, is I'm Prosecco. Do. All right, is there a special way I should drink this? Pinky up, down, doesn't matter. You, you're good. Just hold it by the side. <laughs> sure. Always cheers, 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 cheers and sip. It's a little fruit, uh, yeah, and then finishes nice and dry. No, I the champagne. I must drink less, cheap champagne. Less bubbles all the time. than champagne. Less bubbles. Asti spumante uh, Nando. I think Sweet. It's, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. This is this is really good. I like this. Um, so this is we great. we we carry uh, three of their their wines: a red, a white, and a sparkling. Great region, great area. It's called uh, Passamento, uh, which is a really cool process of making this wine. Is nice. This is you see. I, I, I really, I, I'm new to what a lot of this try, stuff. What should be tried? <laughs> bubbles are bubbles. I know you love beer, and we yeah. have a lot of craft beer there, but bubbles are bubbles. And just yeah, I mean, my, really, my experience is really cheap champagne and uh, Bartles and James. So that's, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's how we started. started. This is a lot better. This is a lot better. All right. So All right. I would suggest that. It's a nice morning drink, too. So I would suggest that with the... This is Margie from Sprout Creek in Poughkeepsie. Ooh, and it's a nice... Yeah, they make, oh, they make really good uh, cheese here. <laughs> yes, and Try a little with that's your, a great with your breakfast uh, cheese. Prosecco. So I don't know how know. you want right. to... Maybe on your crostini. There you go. All right, a little crostini. Little crostini. Crostini. There. And so you're gonna find it's a nice pairing. This pairs yeah. well with the... Uh, You'll find the effervescence, the <laughs> bubbles, cut through the, uh, cut through the cheese. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Excellent combination. Uh, right, now let's go over to the wines over here. Now you brought three, wines. three samples, right? We did. We brought a uh, nice white uh, Verdejo. It's a Spanish white. Verdejo. Nice. Verdejo. Yeah, that's a that's a style of wine. That is a grape. A it's a grape. Okay. It's a Spanish grape. Okay. Uh, it's white. It's very similar to a Sauvignon Blanc. So you were asking about okay. trends yeah. and this that or what to buy. If you know a Sauvignon Blanc, this is a great alternative. Uh, nice right and fruit here. forward. You get some sweet honeysuckle. Mm -hmm. You should, yeah. Oh wow, that, sweet. So that does not smell look. like that does not smell like a wine that I've, I've had before. It's got a very unique smell to it. It's like a I don't want to I don't want to use the word musty because it's not in a bad way, but it does have a little bit. Do, of it, it does have a little, um, which doesn't sound very appealing, but you will find but, uh, a no, slightly yeah. salt, me, yeah. salty uh, finish. So you might get that. Yeah, it's. Hold on a second. Let me go like a it. like a saline finish. Yeah, you know, it's the it's the minerality of the soil. <clears throat> yeah, that would go good nice with like a fish or something like that. Like, like a. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, and it also go good with. Um, I tried to bring stuff. ceviche, shrimp ceviche, but she right. said shrimp in the morning. I didn't. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's not too much. But yes. <laughs> so, so like you know, I'm, I'm a big beer fan, and like sometimes we'll have the uh, sours. We'll have some of the sour beers. Mm -hmm. It's got it's, like it's got a, a very similar yes. uh, you know uh, profile to it. I always say a Spanish wine. Um, that's what I tend to go towards. You know, you're drinking. It, it has very yeah. distinct flavors. Whether you go white, red, rosé. Right. Yeah, All right. So I don't like this. You see. I'm learning new things. I never knew that wine would could taste like this. All right. So our next wine. Next wine uh, is called uh, Spotburgunder. Spotburgunder. Oh, oh, this sounds like something I'm gonna like. We bought that special for you. Spotburgunder. So it is German rosé made from Pinot Noir grape, which is called Spotburgunder in okay. Andrew. So this is a rosé. We were talking about that before. Rosé. It's made from a red grape. Right, made from Pinot Noir, which is a red mm. grape. Uh, just very light skin contact. Um, if you look at your glass, you can see that it's going to have a slight effervesc effervescence. Yeah. You see the little bubbles? Little baby so bubbles it's going to tickle your tongue a little bit. Not oh. like the Prosecco. All right. But well, prepare to be tickled. Same thing. <laughs> Fruity up front, dry on your finish. Oh, that is nice. Isn't that fun? Yeah. So now where, where do the, uh, where do the bubbles come from? New it's not carbonated or is it a little... Bit... Just, just the way it's fermented. Um, yeah. I don't know yeah. how that, that's... Yeah. This I could see sipping outside on a warm day. And this, and this is the perfect, like I was saying, inside, mm -hmm. the perfect for a 
I would drink this all the time. I yeah. dry drink red wine. I would drink this all the time on a hot day. It's refreshing. I, yep. I think you guys are going to turn me into a fancy wine. Yeah. Fun. <laughs> Right. And it pairs, and it pairs well. Right here we have an herbed goat cheese crostini, which we make. Yeah. Uh, herbed goat cheese, we herb, or, you know, add the herbs ourselves. Uh, prosciutto and a house-made fig jam. House -made. Oh, that fig jam. Oh. So you're going to get your sweet, you're going to get your salty, and you're going to get the bitter. It's going to be a party in your mouth, and those uh, that <laughs> right. it's is going to be yeah, party. I love bubbles. So I party in the mouth. Bubbles. But like that's that. going to be a party in your mouth with. So now, you, got, you guys make all the food at uh, Divine yourselves? Yes, we yes, do. Because I mean, the food is like really. Like, would you guys like? Did you go studying at like some sort of culinary school or no, something? No, we or? just researched. Did a lot of research. A lot of research. And, uh, just, just test like, kitchen. Test a lot of test kitchen. A lot of just research. Just I did. A, I had kitchens. a flatbread last time I was there with beets. Yes. Oh my god! Yes. It was so good. <laughs> that's a fun one. That, 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 was, that was that was a big trial and error. The flat the flatbreads until it was yeah. perfect because yeah. we don't put anything out unless it's. Perfect. Okay, I'm glad I had the perfect yeah. version. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we got one more wine to one talk about. Now, is this the one that I tried yes. last time I was there? The All right. So from expl that. explain what this wine is. Okay, so this is a conundrum. It's a California blend. It's from the Wagner family. They're a well-known Napa Valley. Uh, all kinds of wines. Uh, this is blended probably eight different grapes. They okay. do not disclose all of the grapes in this blend. Ooh, okay. because proprietary blend. Exactly. Um, and I think, <laughs> right, because they, and you can pick up some of them, like I can pick up some of the, the grapes that are in there. It's full, it's structured, it, if you um, kind of turn your glass, which we didn't do, but you see how it kind of coats your glass? Oh yeah, you get those, that. Those are the legs. The legs. So we say this has sexy legs. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it kind of, yeah. kind of holds so the that, side of the glass. The legs uh, determine the body. So when you get nice legs like that, nice full yeah. body. This is a smell that I'm used to. I'm more of a red wine drinker kind alcohol. of guy. It's a high alcohol. High alcohol, huh? Big, what, big what, legs, high what's alcohol. What's the percentage? This is like 14. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, now we're on a party. Okay, hold on. <laughs> and you're going to have a lot going on when you sip. A lot of There's, layers. It's a lot of... Um, like uh, oakiness to it. A lot of smoke, mm. a lot of oakiness, a lot of slight tannins, like Casey said. Did you, yeah. did you sniff? It's beautiful. Yeah. Sniff this is like my fave. Yeah, you, 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 you do get that, that smokiness to it. So, yeah. like, for me, this is like what I look for in, in a, a glass of wine. Because yes. this could be like a meal on its own. Yes. Like, you know, this is nice and hearty. Mm, yes. And uh, it's yes. got and tons it's and tons of flavors going on. Yeah. Yeah, and the, temp yeah, the temperature of the wine. Mm. Uh, helps. So you so you would know if you're overwhelmed by your wine list, you want to go to a full wine if you like that. You yeah, know, this is I like you want to go to a full, full body. Full body wine. This is full super body. full body. I like this a lot. This is this is really good. Yeah. So it's now one of our it's, it's our biggest seller. Our biggest seller. Biggest seller. So, really? So yes. and it, but you said that this one's a little more expensive though, right? Yes. Even though, even though like how what, what would a bottle of that uh, cost? Uh in Divine, like yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's a fifty dollar bottle. Fifty dollar bottle of wine. Thirteen dollar glass, yeah. um, and it sells like crazy. That's, what, what, that's, yeah. that's not bad. A thirteen dollar bottle. I mean, that glass is going to make it feel nice really board. good. We give, we give a nice pour. That's like yeah. about well, maybe three quarters of what we usually yeah. pour. All right. Pairs yeah. great with uh, the chocolate. The house made dark chocolate. House made. Dark house made. We made. What? Come on. Give me a break. Oh yeah. Uh, we which I've never it's had. very smooth. Yes, she's. You don't think to chocolate and, and, and wine, but you no. Know. So this, so the sweetness and the slight tannin of the the wine kind of. It really does. Nice. You wouldn't think it would at all. So smooth and silky. Very smooth. smooth. Yeah, well, they're very smooth and silky. Really good. All right. So, like, generally, how many wines do you guys have at uh, Divine Wine? Ooh, we just, we just added, added to our wine list, so we have about twelve to fifteen of each. Wow. So yeah. twelve to fifteen white, twelve to fifteen reds. We have some great ports. Uh, along with Prosecco, well, a port. Mm -hmm. um, we do Bellinis. We now have a Divine Teeny, our version Divine of a Martini. Yeah. Yes. So for those who don't want who are not into <clears throat> wine, they want more of a cocktail type. Nice thing. summer so cocktail. Christine is a, made come with up with something good. Prosecco, vermouth, a little bit of ginger beer. Right. Yeah. So look, if you guys want to want to check that and uh, see all the stuff they have there, you guys are always changing the menu and stuff too. Uh, Divine Wine Bar, right there on the East Main Street in Wappingers Falls. You guys have a website too, We're right? We're right at the falls. Yeah, yeah. right there. Do you have a website, DivineWineBarWappingers.com? Right. You can't you can't miss it. It's the big uh, patio with everybody hanging out, drinking uh, delicious wine. All right, thanks, guys. Right. Cheers. 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 Thanks so much Cheers. for coming this morning. All right, thanks.